What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ray Bands and I am back with a brand new video. I know a lot of people are going to be excited about this, right? <laughs> I'm going to show you how you actually can get your pocket options broker set up and I'm going to be revealing a challenge that my community told me I should do on Discord. So um, I'm going to go ahead and reveal that. But first, I want to help you get this set up correctly. So you probably followed the link and you ended up on pocket options and you want to make sure that you set it up right. You want to make sure that you fund it right. It's a lot of things that you don't know. You're brand new or you're semi new, right? Well, I actually just made a new Google account. So I'm going to actually log in with Google. So this is me setting up. You see where it says registration right here at the top? Right. I'm going to go ahead and just hit Google because it's quick and fast and I want it to be connected to Google. I'm going to hit that button. It's going to show my uh, my email. Don't send me weird emails, please. Thank you. Right. And then it's going to pretty much open me up into this account right here. Now, now that I'm in the account it's telling me, do I want to continue demo trading? You know how to earn money with them in a video tutorial. So they're going to walk you through the platform. However, I think that they can do a better job of explaining or updating their videos for um, the site. So I'm just going to do something really quick for you to break it down. Right. If you're brand new to trading, you don't know anything. You don't know that this is a candlestick. You don't know how to put your orders in and stuff like this. Um, pretty much on the left hand side right here, all of these options have to do with your account from you buying things. Uh, from the uh, awards that you can earn, marketplace, your profile, all of that good stuff, right? And if you ever want to know what something does, just hover over it and it'll tell you really quickly. Select the trading type for your live account or demo. So if I click this, it's going to bring up different options that I can pick um, and, and how I want to trade. Now, MetaTrader 5 right here, this is traditional Forex trading right here. You can put money on this account too, but most people come to this site to high frequency trade, right? And then you have the digital trading, the demo or the real, right? Digital is just, it's the difference between how your clock is. Let me give you an example. If I click quick demo trading, let me get this off my screen. If I click a uh, quick demo trading right here for a demo account, look how the time look. You see how right here it has a little clock. This means that it's a set time. Now, if I go back over here and I uh, click the just the traditional demo trading, watch this. You see how it's a flag? So that's just the difference between how your time expires and how you enter the market. Me personally, I like to use the clock because I like to have an exact set time when I enter. When you're using the time expiration, um, you know, sometimes you can enter to be a minute 15. Sometimes you'll enter it to be 45 seconds. It really just depends on when you hop into the market. Me personally, I don't like that. I, yeah, I just don't like that. So I like to stick with the clock over here. Right. And I like to trade around three minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that. OK, with the demo balance right here, you get a thousand dollars, but you can always top up your demo. Um, You know, you can come up here and hit top up. The most that you can put is ten thousand. However, I mean, starting with a thousand is cool. You shouldn't try to trade insane amounts. You just want to learn how to trade. Right. Um, Over here, you see right here, it's just telling you what this is. Aust Australian dollar Swiss franc is telling you where the price is. This right here is the like the chart type, the candle, uh, the candle types that you can pick. So if I click that, right, you see that this is look the different type of candles, the different time frames. If it has an S in front, it means seconds. If it has an M in front, it means minutes. And if it has an H in front, it means hour. Uh, you can customize this, like customizing your candles and all of that good stuff. Um, let's see. You can draw on the chart, not physically draw like a pen. You have to get an extension for that, but you can put like horizontal lines, vertical lines. If you want to mark your chart, it's called like marking like support and resistance and things like that. And then uh, these are other things that you can add. So, for instance, it says market watch. You see this little thing right here? This right here where it says 81 percent, 70 percent. It's kind of letting you know, like, hey, if you put this trade in, this is the chances that you have to win. Don't trade like that. Just just don't. Right. We just going to go ahead and just take that off. That to me is just pointless. You probably have people who super cold with it. <laughs> I'm not one of them. I just don't think that's smart. Um, and then right here, uh, the hotkeys, you see right here, it says that you can push certain things to like enter a trade or switch to a different chart. Because I like to use my hotkeys for other extensions on my computer, I don't leave the hotkeys on the broker because I have entered trades for thousands and thousands of dollars before off of a hot key on accident. And if you enter a trade, you can't take it back. I don't care if it was an accident. You wanted to do a three minute trade and you did a five second trade and it was an accident. Hey, that's on you. So you have to be really careful. All right. 
So on the right hand side, you see right here, it has different options as far as the trading is concerned, like pending orders. Um, you can do tournaments, which is really cool. You can enter tournaments for free. And then if you win the tournament, they'll give you money to put on your real account. That's something that you can try. Now, I wouldn't say, oh, let me get into a tournament and just win some money so I don't have to load money. What I'm going to tell you is the people in those tournaments, even the free tournaments are cold, are cold. It's a 24 hour tournament and they be flipping the account to 50K, 100K. Like it's insane. They're, you know, get your skills up before you try to do something like that. This right here, I don't even use express trade, so I'm not even going to explain that. Social trading, I don't do social trading. This is where you can find other people who are making money in the market. You can follow them and then you can copy their trades for like gyms and stuff like that. But I, I just don't do that. I trade on my own. I don't even allow people to copy my trades. Like I don't do that. Right. And then this right here is signals. If you've been on this channel long enough, you already know we do not take signals this is something we don't do and then of course the trade one is showing what trades you have what's opened and what's closed but I, before i even get into changing my chart around and doing all that good stuff and setting up my strategy i want to actually set up my account really quick so i'm going to go up here and the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to go to settings and i'm going to go to chart you see this right here where it says optimize chart. Use this setting to tune the re-rendering preferences of your chart. You know, if you trade on pocket options, it's going to refresh a lot. So you have to make sure that you pay attention to your chart, that everything is the same. What do I mean by that? When it's refreshing, let's say that I have three minutes right here and I have $100 that I want to trade. The amount won't change. Matter of fact, let's change that to 5%, right? So the amount won't change. However, if the chart resets, your time will. So it might like pop back to this and then go back to one minute. So when you're trading, before I put in a trade, I always look to make sure my time is right and to make sure that my percent is right, right? So I'll just go up here and be like, oh, it must have refreshed while I was analyzing the market. So I just hit that like that. I'm good to go. So don't be too fast where you're like, oh, this is my entry. And you just go straight up here and you enter. You don't want to do that, but that's what that means. So we're going to go back down to settings. All right, I'm going to go to indicators. This will indicate if I have a bonus on my account. I don't like that to show. Let's see. And uh, I don't like that to pop up either. I usually turn all of this off for my chart. Uh, tool tips. I, I don't care about none of that. Let's see. Use the tool tips control thing to enable or disable trade results rendering on the interface. Okay. So this right here, I guess if you have this on, this is where it will actually show over. It will actually show over your... Um, uh, uh, over your trade or at the bottom left hand corner right here like it'll be like a little orange box to tell if you made or lost money so I'll keep that on I don't think I've ever turned that off and then this is the theme for now I'm going to leave my theme blue but you can change it like if I hit the dark theme the green theme right this is just the way actually I like that yeah I like that a lot let's let's keep it green I, I changed my chart around so much so that's my theme. And you can also pick the light thing. Like some people like <laughs> they like their, their screen to look like Facebook, the old school Facebook. This look like Facebook all day to me. Um, this is cool, too. If, if you just want to have a nice, clear screen. Right. If you want to have a nice, clear screen, then it's cool to do that. But um, I like flavor. So we're going to go ahead and change that back to green. And then sound control that stays off. Boom. So I got my settings right now. I'm going to go to my profile. All right, let's go to profile. All right, we just uh, we want to confirm our email address. All right, they sent me a link to my email. So I'm going to click up here really quick. I'm going to go to my Gmail really quick. All right, I'm going to click right here, confirm my email. Boom, email confirmed. See that? Verify. Now I'm going to put my name in here. I don't care if you guys know my government. All right, there we go. Boom. I'm going to put my last name. All right. Look at this. Uh, I'm not going to put the phone number just yet because people will try to call me. And I'm probably going to blur my date of birth. Yeah, because people be weird. I probably should blur all of this because, you know, them scammers be real. Let's do March. Let's see. OK, we're going to put that in and then when you scroll down, right? So when you scroll down to the identity status, it's going to ask you for a document to verify your identity. So my country is the United States. The document type that I'm going to be submitting is my driver's license. 
And then it says right here, document number. What I always put right here is I just put driver license. I don't even put the number in it. I just put, I put front driver ID, right? And then I'll go down here to choose file. And then I'll go to desktop because I already have a picture taken of it. Boom, open, and then I'll upload it right here. Now, when I upload that, now you got to make sure, uh-oh, I think I put spaces. I can't put any spaces right here. You see where it says unsupported symbols? So you're just going to take the spaces out right there. Then we're going to hit upload. Now, when you submit this, you got to make sure that the picture that you take is on like a black surface or something that doesn't have a lot of contrast or colors, and it needs to be visible and they need to be able to see the whole card. Okay? So once you do that, you see right here where it says, look, it says profile, it says boom right here. Then it says verification in process. It might take them about 15 minutes to verify this or so. So um, I'm going to wait for that. Now, down here, we can go to the avatar, right? Now I have to pick a whole new avatar. So I'm just going to click right here to find the image that I want to use. Give me one second. We're going to go to uh, here. And I already used this picture. I've used so many of these pictures. Uh Let's use this one. I like that. All right, uploading. And then we're going to center it, you know, get our photography on. Oh, I can zoom in. Now that's live. I look official right there. Let's get it save. Boom. All right, we got our avatar. Uh, this right here where it says hide my profile. You know, a lot of people, you know, want to, you know, try to like copy my trades or look up my account and stuff. Even if they can find my account, I don't allow people to copy my trades. So I just hit hide profile. That way, you know, you can see me on the leaderboards. You can click on my name, but you can't copy my trades or you can't follow me or watch me. I don't allow people to do that. And then this right here, I can just put a nickname for myself. OK, and then right here at the bottom, it says email notifications, subscribe to, you know, all of this, like uh, from your manager, uh, like me. I don't like like you get a lot of emails from pocket options. Right. So subscribe to education emails. I'm cool on that. Subscribe to uh, trading statements. I mean, if you want to trade like traditional currencies and stuff, that might help you out. You can leave this on, but I don't personally use that uh, analytics. No, I don't I don't use none of this like boom. I could have just actually just did that Just just turn them off. Like don't email me, bro. I'm good So boom, I turned that off now that I have that set up I want to fund my account now if you want to wait for your verification to go through before you fund your account I totally understand but it, it, I know that this is going to go through so I'm done setting up my account So now what I want to do is I'm going to go back to my main screen Let's go back to the main screen and I have that set up. I want to fund the account. It says invest real money. So I'm going to click this button right here. And I guess I'll go ahead and reveal what I'm going to do. I'm going to put $300 on the account, right? That is the typical. I was looking through my Discord community and I was like, man, what's the average startup for most people? A lot of people can't drop four bands, five bands on an account. And if they could, they don't have the confidence to what is an average starting amount? The average starting amount is between 250 and 500 that people are comfortable putting on a broker, right? So I'm going to drop 300 and I'm going to take a bonus to let you know what the bonus does because people think that bonuses are bad, but I promise you they are not. So when you see right here, this right here is our deposit screen, okay? This is our deposit screen and you can deposit with any of these, right? So if you have Tether, if you have Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Pax, Big uh, Binance coin, whatever you have. Me personally, I'm going to do Bitcoin. Now watch this. I have a Cash App and a Coinbase account. I do not connect my Coinbase account to fund my Pocket Options broker. I go straight through Bitcoin. So if you have Coinbase, you're going to do a Bitcoin transaction on Coinbase. You're not going to log into your Coinbase to fund it. I've had a couple people do that and they had some hiccups. I don't like hiccups. I like simple. So Bitcoin is the best for me. Now watch this. When I click this Bitcoin button, right, it's going to tell me like what I can deposit if, you know, if I want to use a bonus, I do want to use a bonus. 
So right here is telling me $100. I can get a bonus of 27%. Actually, I don't even want to use this right here. You see right here where it says get 50% bonus on your first deposit? Yeah, we about to go ahead and do that. Click that. Hit Bitcoin. And we're going to go ahead and get us. A, it says 50% start. So we got us a bonus code. We're going to type $300 right there. Oh, look at that. They're going to give us a chest. And look at that. We get to start with $450. What does that mean? That means... If I take this bonus, I get to I get to leverage extra money. Now, because Pocket Options is one of the only brokers that I know that if they give you a bonus, if you execute the bonus, they let you withdraw the bonus funds. What does that mean? That means that let's say, let's say that they give me a bonus and well, actually, I'm going to fund it and then we're going to go read the terms so it can make sense. So let me do that first. Let me go ahead and uh, fund this really quick. We're going to hit continue. Okay. Oh, man, people click. People miss this right here. They just click OK. They don't read. I want to read it for you. Please note that in accordance with the current financial provider settings, minimum withdrawal amount via Bitcoin is 150. Click on the continue button to proceed with your deposit. What does this mean? If you upload money to this broker, Let's say that you only upload 50 and then you have a change of heart. You want to get your 50 back. You're not going to be able to get the 50 back until it's over 150. Let's say that you upload $200 to this broker. You have a change of heart. You can get your $200 back. Why? Because it's over. It is over 150 and you have access to your money at all times. But what they're telling you is if you deposit in Bitcoin, you can own, you can, you have to make a withdrawal over 150 um, with the broker. Now, you might think that that's bad, but I promise you, my average withdrawal is like two to three grand. So I'm, I'm never close to that. But it's like you have you have to understand that that's just for financing. It's not to say, oh, we're going to lock your money and we want to force you to trade. They don't do that. I've asked them over and over. If I made a million dollars on this broker and I wanted to pull off the whole million, could I do so? And they would send me emails back saying, if it's your money and it's not a bonus connect to it, if you know you get access to it, if it is a bonus connected to it, cancel the bonus on the account and then take the money that's available to you. And I'll explain what that means later, too. So we're going to hit continue right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and hop over to Cash App. And then I'm going to actually I'll show you what I'm doing on Cash App to get ready to send it over to my broker. All right. So now we're actually on the Cash App screen. And what I want to do is I want to buy Bitcoin. Now, one thing that you have to know that on Cash App, you have to have your Cash App enabled to send and receive Bitcoin, right? And this is how you're going to know because you can still buy Bitcoin with the regular app and you don't have to be set up. But after you buy it, you'll have options to send it out if your account is set up. So if you go to the Bitcoin screen and it says enable for withdrawals and deposits, then you haven't set up your cash app yet. So you need to hit that button and then walk through the prompts to be able to get your account set up. It might take 24 hours to do so for them to verify. Right. So now I have the buy button. What I'm doing is I'm going to hit buy and then I want to buy 300. But I know that it's like blockchain fees and cash app has a fee to do this for me. So I'm just going to put three hundred and fifteen dollars. And I'm hit next. It's going to scan my face. And then boom, confirm. All right. We purchased that in Bitcoin. We got three hundred and nine dollars. Now I want to send it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this send button right here. And then you see right here in the top left hand corner has like a little scan code. Right. I'm just going to hit. I'm going to hit that scan code and I'm going to come over to my computer and then I'm going to scan it just like that. Now, on my computer screen, there is numbers that I can put right here so I can send the exact amount because I want to send the exact amount to pocket options. Um, or why I want to send the exact amount to pop pocket options is because if I send the exact amount, they can verify it within five to 10 minutes and the money will be on my account. If I send the wrong amount, you know, they'll have to go verify the payment and make sure that it's mine and go through this whole process. So sending the exact amount just saves enough time. So the exact amount that's actually on my screen is point zero zero four nine eight six one. All right, that's the exact amount in Bitcoin. I'm going to hit send. I'm going to put my code in. 
right? And then right here it says priority. This just is how fast I want them to send it, right? Standard, I don't do standard. I never do rush. I like 10 minutes, get my transaction out the way, right? And then we wanna, that's all my details and we wanna hit confirm and send. Boom, you initiated a withdrawal of the amount that I wanted to send, which is about 300 bucks. So we're gonna hit done and look at that. Still got some money in Bitcoin, we're just gonna leave that right there. That's how you do that on your Cash App screen. Let's jump back over to the computer screen. All right, so now that we're back on the computer screen, you can see that the scan code is still here. I already scanned it, I sent the money here. Um, and you can just click away from here. So right here, you see it isn't reflected in our balance yet. No problem, it'll be there. So you can actually navigate from this. But let me actually show you the different screens right here. So you have the deposit screen. Let's go over to the withdrawal screen. The withdrawal screen right here, you see where it says free balance and minimum withdrawal amount. Oh, look, it says 10 right here. Hmm. Now I deposited in Bitcoin. So I believe that that $10 might be for other options, but I'm pretty sure for Bitcoin it's 150. So I'm not going to, I'm not, I don't want you guys to fall for that. It's, let's keep it at 150 for Bitcoin. Now on the free balance, if you have a bonus, it's going to have your free balance is going to be 300. So because I sent 300, my free balance is going to be 300 right here because it's no bonus connected to it. Um, I don't even know what commission is. I think if you want to make a withdrawal, they take like a commission if you use certain ones, but on Bitcoin, they don't take a commission. But I'm not sure how that works. If you want to know, you can always read the terms of conditions right here in the bottom right here where it says terms and conditions. Click that and read it. If you want to know the broker, like what they're doing, um, what they like, what how they operate the money, how the, the service works, right? All the rules and regulations, like read that. I've read it. You can read it too. So right here, we can go to history. Okay, right here, you can see it says that I have a Bitcoin deposit pending. I know that's going to go through for 300. So it'll, it'll show your withdrawals and your deposits. This is a brand new account. So we're not going to have withdrawals right here. Look at this deposits. Okay, you can have cash back. What does that mean? It's little things that you can buy in the marketplace where if you lose trades at the end of every month, they'll pay you cash back, like a percentage cash back off what you lose just to make it more competitive for you, right? And they have promo codes. So you see right here, hey, this promo code right here can work on every single, let's say you put some money on a broker, you know, you over leverage, you lose, and you're like, dang, I need another promo code. You know, I'm gonna do better this time. This, this code can be put on every broker ever created. One more chance, right? You can, and they'll let you upload some more money. Now, this is something that I noticed about the broker. The education that they offer, the analytics that they offer, um, the fact that they're always being intuitive with their platform, they want you to win. I Like all the other brokers that I traded on, I promise you, it is not this fluent. It is not this, I can't even explain it. It's like, it's, it's not this well put together, thought out broker. It's just, you know, a, a tick chart. Let me explain what a tick chart is. Let me go to demo trading. It's, the screen looks just like this. Right. It's just a tick chart. And then, you know, you have to be on trading view and you're looking at the entries and stuff and then you're trading from there. But like the, the functionality is not as good. The creativity, the look, um, the payout is not as fast. It's usually a struggle getting your money off other brokers. And I'm not trying to be like a pocket options try hard. I just completely trust this broker. I've made thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars with this broker and they've paid me out every single time, every single time. No question. Right. The only time they've delayed my payment is when they were verifying my account just to make sure it was me. And they said that they randomly do that just to protect accounts. Right. They reach out to you. They send you updates. Say they offer you bonus codes. Like if I went in here right here, let me show you something. Let's say that I wanted to go to my chat. Right. When you first sign up, you're going to have access to a chat. It has a support chat. That's the first message that they send you right here. Hello, support chat is available to clients with the beginner profile level and up. You can find answers to frequently asked questions here. If you uh, encounter any problems, please make sure to create a support request. Let's let's click that really quick. If I go into support request, boom, I can view my existing, I can create one, and then I can talk about what problems I have and they have it broke down. Let's say that I was having a problem with my deposit and I was like, man, what about the fees? I can I can find my answers. Now, let's say that you want to talk to somebody. Let's, let's say it's something serious where it's something with your account. Uh, let me see, access issues. Why can't I log in? All right, so right here, 
Boom, it tells you an answer, but if that's not enough, it says create new support request. I can click that and then it's gonna have prompts for me to fill out that I can walk through, right? Now, outside of that, let's get, let's get back over here to my trading screen, just so that's off. I'm gonna go back to my chat and then it says general chat. So it has people in here who pretty much let me say use 100% bonus to share. Thanks. See, people be asking for bonuses. And so that's why I turn this chat off. It's just a whole bunch of, I call this is the noob chat. Like, you know, people get in here. Now, don't get me wrong. Some people hop in here and they really be trying to help people, you know, like telling them about strategies and what they can do to be more profitable. And people ask questions. Some people come in here and they be like, hey, guys, you know, come join my trading team. Like, it, they be recruiting. It, it depends on who you have listening. But this is what I do. Biggest tip I can give you on this video. <laughs> Leave chat, bro. I ain't got no time for that. I'm, I'm cool on that. Boom. All right, let's see. Um, Let's go over here. Supports. You have a new message from support. All right. Let's see more. Oh, look at this. I'm your personal manager. Do you need any assistance? Do you have any questions about the trading platform in case you experience dif difficulties? I would like to recommend you to review our platform guide. Feel free to contact uh, support service if you're having any questions. Good luck with your trading and have a great day. All right. So that's my account manager right there. I can send him a message whenever I want. Thank you so much. Now, look at this. Look right here. It says guides and tutorials, reviews, support chat, affiliate program. If you want to start doing affiliate, affiliate is a thing. I don't want you to be, you know, like, oh, man, affiliate is bad. You know, people sending out links trying to get me to trade on this broker. It's a scam. No, this is a business. Like, for instance, on my channel, if you're using my channel to make profits, if you're using my channel to learn, but you're on somebody else's affiliate program, that's like not fair. Right. <laughs> because you have somebody who didn't sign you up, but they're not helping you like I'm pretty sure it's people in businesses that didn't did that. They didn't got signed up in some business and now they're excited to learn how to trade. And the business probably provides all type of information for you to actually trade successfully. But who can learn by themselves when they're brand, brand, brand new? Nobody really takes initiative like that. So, you know, when they sign up for something, what they want, they want help. They want guidance. They want videos. They want structure. They want to be able to learn how to trade. So the affiliate program is like, hey, you know, you can get people signed up on the broker and you can have it set up for one or two ways, right? You can have it set up to where you're helping them and they're becoming profitable and you can make money long term, or you can have it set up to where you're just getting them set up, you know, and if they lose the account, even though they lose the account, you can still get a benefit out of it. Like a, like a thank you, like, hey, this person came, they tried, they lost their money, but because they tried and they didn't even know about pocket options, but you brought them to pocket options, we'll pay you a check. So if you hit the link in my video, to be able to trade, like if you're going to Pocket Options and you hit the link in the description, my link is set up for the longevity of your trading, which means the longer you make profits on the broker, the longer I make money. If you blow your account, I don't make any money. So I don't, that's why I teach the way I teach and I drop the information that I drop and I make the courses that I make because I feel like I can have over, you know, 5,000, 10,000 people trading on my link profitably. And if I got everybody pulling out 500 to $1,000 like a week or a month, that's a nice, strong income for me to be able to keep my stuff free. It's a strong income for me, for me to even slow down on my trading. If I don't want to trade two times a week or three times a week and I just want to trade once a week, I can do that. But it's going to come off the benefit of me actually helping a lot of people get a lot of lots. And off the lot of lots that those people make, I can get a lot of littles. It's a very beautiful program. Affiliate anything. That's why every successful business has an affiliate program. Look at Amazon. All right. So look at the guides and tutorials. Right here, you can go in here. It talks about the introduction, registration, interface, profile, finance, all that good stuff. If you're like me and you just, you know, kind of, it's nothing wrong with being a nerd, but you just want to, <laughs> you want to be nerdy. You want to go and just know everything. You can read all of this and get a deep understanding of what's happening on your broker, right? Um, I'm not, I've actually never even read the reviews. I've just kind of got my own reviews. You know, some people trust reviews, some people don't, right? So you can go read this if you want to. 21 real reviews 2021 i don't really read that i was like man you know what when i first got on this broker i said i, I got 500 dollars to lose like if this is a scam then it's a scam we're gonna see but what got my what really got my trust was when i put in a trade like right here let me show you something i'm gonna switch back to the candle let's go to hakanashi because that's the type of candles that i like but when i when i did a trade and what time is it 10 so oh yeah let's go to stocks because i i believe you'll see it look at this 
I remember I did a trade and my chart did something like this, where it just kind of bleeped out and then it changed and then the percentage dropped. And it was in the middle of my trade. And I was like, what the heck? And then I lost the trades at the bottom. It was like, you, lo you lost these trades. And I was like, oh, man, don't tell me this broker doing that too. A couple seconds or actually a couple minutes later, I got a message over here that was like, hey, um, our liquidity providers changed and we don't know what the price was in the area that your trade was. And because we don't, we're going to refund back your money. When that happened, I said, oh, no broker is doing that. No broker. Let me explain how the broker works. Does the broker make money when you lose money, when you blow your account? Yes. Yes, they make they make money when you blow your account because you put in a trade for a certain amount. You lost that trade. So they owe money to the bank. They owe money to themselves. And then it's a pool of money that they can use that that's distributed out. It, let's say that you had a thousand dollar account. You blew that thousand dollar account. You were on an affiliate link that was like, hey, I want to make more money when people lose money than when they make money. You can set your affiliate link up like that. So if you go across those channels that be like, oh, it's OK, just copy my trades, copy my trades. And then you looking at your account, you like, why is my account going down? I'm copying their trades. They're a profitable trader. Why is my account going down like every day? Right. That's because that's the way they have their link set up. If they have a thousand people copying their trades and they blow a thousand accounts, that's a nice affiliate link check. Right. So you have affiliate links that set up to where when you make profit, the person makes profit. They get a they get a small percentage of the, the percentage that pocket options get. What do you mean? You see right here where it says 50 percent. When you let's say if you made a trade right here, which I would never say trade 50 percent. But let's say you made a trade right here for ten dollars. You won that trade and you made five dollars off that trade. The other five dollars goes to pocket options as a profit. Off of that five dollar profit, let's say that pocket options is sharing 25 percent with my affiliate link. That means that I would make, um, you know, what would that be? Five dollars, 25 percent. That'd probably be like a dollar, you know, like a dollar and some change, like a dollar, a dollar and 12 cent or something. I, I, my math is probably terrible, but still, like I would just make a dollar off you making that uh, transaction. Now, watch this. Let's say that you did that a thousand times and you made five grand on your account. And I got a dollar every single time, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. Do you see how powerful that is? So the broker is the same way. The broker is the same way. Every time you win a trade, they make four dollars and you just took your account from a hundred dollars all the way or a thousand dollars all the way up to five thousand. Do you see how much money the broker just made? Why do they want you to blow your account? Why do they want to spike you out of a trade? Just think about that for a second. Why? When they can have 1 million people and they could be making 80%, 8 per, not 80%, 20%, 8%, or if you're trading 50%, they could be making 50% off of every single trade that's coming through their broker every single time. Why would they want to do that? So uh, that, that's my mindset behind it. So um, right here, that my, my chart did that. They refunded my money and it literally like, that's what made me trust the broker even more. Let's see. Go back over here. Somebody. I thought I got out of this chat. Come on, man. There we go. Left the chat. We got our money funded. Actually, it's probably funded by now. Let me see. Well, no, nah, not just yet. Not yet. I'm waiting on it to fund. Okay, let's see. Let's go back up to trading. And our profile is set up finance. Uh, we already have that market. Let me go to market really quick. All right. On the market, this is where you remember when I was talking about the cash back, like you can earn certain gems, you can earn certain gems and you can earn um, these gems to spend on certain things. So you see where it says 2% cash back It's pretty much telling you we'll pay you 2% cash back for your losses of the month. However, the max payout that will pay you off 2% is 100. So if you lose a thousand dollars, right, and your payout percentage is two percent that month, you'll get what a hundred dollars back at the end of the month. Now some people might think, well, that's not a lot, right? Well, they don't have to give you anything. Go to any other broker and be like, hey, man, you got some cash back, right? Like especially the popular brokers. I ain't gonna name no names, but they're not giving you no cash back. You blow your account, you just blow your account. Matter of fact, they have requirements. Like they require you to put at least five hundred on the broker. Like, what? What do you mean? Like, OK, like it's just like a <laughs> like a prison kind of. So right here, like, you know, if you work up to where you get enough gems for this, then you can do this. You can do 10 percent and then you can trade throughout the month. And even if you made profits for that month, 
because you would lose a certain amount of trades that would register you to get some of the money back that you lost, which can be very powerful. And the, and the thing is, I know I keep coming back to the affiliate link, but I really want you guys to like know the game, right? Like this is what people are doing. That's why you don't believe in this or you think it's real or it's fake or it's a scam, but it's not. You know, you have people who do that and they have these cashbacks on their account. So not only are they telling you to copy their trades and then you blowing your account, they also getting some of their money back that they use to help you blow your account. So if you're on this channel and you like, man, look, I just want this to work. I'm checking this broker out. I just want to make sure it's real. I, you know, I, please be real because this is powerful, like compounding your money, withdrawing money, right? Being able to have access. They kind of gamify things, prolonginators. They give you, you know, more boost to earn stuff, boosters, cashback, risk-free trades that you can get with gems, you know, bonus to your balance that you can get with gems. Look at that. Promo codes that you can get to use to, to be able to add more money to, you know, to your account that you can get with gems. Um, but you looking at this and you just really want this to be real. I'm going to show you how you can make it real. One, don't copy trade anybody. Just don't. Learn the skill for yourself. Even if it takes you a month, two months, three months to really get the skill down to understand what you're doing. They have this beautiful thing called a demo account. Look at this. The money just hit my account. You see how my, my, my status changed? Look at this. Let me finish my thought and then I'll actually go over there and show you guys that. But they have a demo account. You hop in a demo account and you learn the skill, right? My channel teaches you a strategy. It teaches the mindset behind strategy, risk management. I have a course, Discord chat. Um, of course, we talk about way more things than just trading on pocket options. But um, this is an opportunity for you to control your trading and to get good at it and to expect to get good at it because you have somebody who's giving you core information, right? They give you, look, these achievements will earn me gems. So I'm going to show you what that is. So um, if I go over here to my live account, I can now click the quick trading real account. And right there, boom, $450 on my account just like that within the time of this video. You see how quick they're loaded. It's on the account. I can put in a live trade right now if I want to. I'm definitely not going to be doing that right now. Um, I'm going to set up the strategy that I'm going to be using. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to set up the strategy that I'm going to be using for me to flip this account. I'm going to say, even though I put 300, I am going to say that I started at 300 because that 450 can be executed. Let me show you what I mean. Let me show you what I mean. So we're going to go to, let's go to market. And then from the market, I should be able to see, oh look, get my gift. So they gave me a chest right there. I can hit activate. It's going to take me to my page where I can earn certain things. And let me see what I got. All right. They gave me 10 red gems. Look at that. Boom. So we're going to add that to our balance. Put that on 10 red gems. Let's go down here to achievements really quick. And I'm going to show you guys the deposit in just a second. You see how, look, amount of deposits one. Make first deposit of more than 100. Boom, boom. Registration pass. So look, my registration for my ID right they 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 pretty much completed that so i'm good to go opened a live account good so they're giving me all my all my gems at the bottom look at that i got 16 red four blue except it's really hard to get those them green ones and i've never even seen a purple one before maybe one of these days i'll earn a purple it's very rare right and i don't even know what it can do so now that i have that but i want to show you guys my let me go up here to deposit withdraw yeah so we're gonna go to deposit because I want you guys to see the promo. So you see right here where it says promo codes. All right. And then look, this is active. This is my active code right here. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, why does it have two? So this is my active code right here. So it says bonus amount right here, 150. So they gave me 100 and extra $50. And it said required net turnover. What does that mean? When you put in a trade, it goes towards a balance. So if I win or lose a trade, it will go towards the net turnover. How many dollars am I trading? When I hit, let's say that I flip my account to 4,000 and my net turnover is 10,000. So it took me to trade a net worth of 10,000 for me to profit the 4,000, right? Then I would that would be considered executed. So what that means is, is, hey, you've traded enough. We gave you a bonus. We gave you extra money on your account from our pockets. You've traded enough for us to be able to make profit because every time you put in a trade, we make money. And because you hit the net turnover, we're going to say that the bonus is executed and you can now withdraw the bonus money saying that, hey, you started off with the extra 150 
you've you've pretty much paid us back three times over. That's way more than three times over, but you pretty much paid us back. So you can now withdraw the bonus amount. You're automatically going to hit this. If you do proper trading and you don't over leverage your account, you're building your account and you're following your rules, you're naturally going to hit this number. So this bonus is literally a free $150. If you do it, let's say you do a thousand dollar deposit and they gave you 500. That's a free 500. Let's say that you did a $2,000 deposit and they gave you a 4,000. That's a free thousand dollars. Now, this number won't be 7,500. If you let's say they give you a thousand dollar bonus, that number might be 50K. And you might think, dang, I got to hit a net turnover of 50K. Doesn't mean you have to make 50K to take the money off. It means that your net turnover, the, the dollars that you're using to trade, when it hits that amount, uh, you know, the turnover amount, you can actually get the money. Like you can withdraw the bonus amount. So it might be 50K. But if you're trading from 3,000 and you get your account to 15K, you'll be pretty. You'd be pretty impressed that you'll probably be close to that fifty thousand net turnover rate, and then that'll release the first thousand dollar bonus that you gave yourself. So the bonus codes are very powerful for that reason because you can actually withdraw them once you hit the net turnover amount. One of the only brokers that I know that does that, right? So that's how that works. Let's go over here to it was something else that I wanted to show you guys for the deposit screen. You'll see that it'll say confirmed. Um, I think I have to go to history for that right here boom you see how quick that was and they said and they showed that you used the bonus amount right there you come right here they'll also tell you you got 10 red gems in the market they also tell you, you got 150 dollars added to your balance they'll explain that to you now let's see what happens as you grow your account so if you hit this right here you can see all my information right don't do nothing stupid Matt I might just blur the top out but I want to click on a uh, live account overall statistics just to show you that first when you click this, this is going to show you like your profitability chart and all of that good stuff. I'm not going to have a profitability chart because I just started this account. But if you look right here to tell you your all time, like your deals, profitable deals, net turnover, hedge turnover, all that good stuff yesterday and today. And also it'll show you your bonus. If you click that, it's going to show you how, how much you have to go to execute it. And it's like a little um, bar that'll fill up. And once you hit the 75, it'll go away and it'll say execution 100%. Right. And then if you want to know more about that, just hit the terms and conditions. If you ever want to cancel a bonus, just hit cancel bonus. Now, it doesn't ask you if you're sure if you hit cancel bonus, even if you were point zero 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 one percent away from executing. If you accidentally hit cancel bonus, it will cancel the bonus and you won't be able to put the bonus back on your account. So just don't hit cancel bonus. Execute that bad boy and make you some money. Look at this. We're going to hit close. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Um, that's our account statistics. Uh, but it's another thing that I want to show you because you can see the trading recommendation. So when I click that, it'll show you. I love the leaderboard. Look, this dude right here is killing it today. He made twenty nine thousand dollars. Now he's fifty three percent profitable. So he probably has some type of strategy where he'll take a couple of trades. And then depending on what's happening, that's when he'll start putting his big trades in to, to get his clears. So he's fifty fifty three percent profitable. But look at this right here. We got 7,000 right here. Oh, I know that. That's a YouTuber. All right, let's see. We have, uh, look at this. This is nice. So these are people on the leaderboard. It's telling you the most profitable assets that you can trade, all of that good stuff. Um, let's see. Uh, possible to cancel right here. Um, if you have those risk-free trades, when you buy with your gems, let's say that they say, hey, you can make two risk-free trades of 100. Let's say you took two 100s, you lost them both. You can come here, hit this button. It'll pop up to two $100 trades. And then you can uh, cancel them and get your money back. But that's if you get that extension. That's the only way that this will work. Or if you have certain things happen on your account with a certain account level. And I'm going to show you what that means. So that's how you get to this screen. Uh, security, all that good stuff. I want to go up here and hit this. And then I'm going to hit this icon right here. Let me hit it. All right. This is the last thing that I'll show you before I set up the strategy. Look at this. This right here is your account level. You have a newbie, which is a balance less than 100. You have the beginner, which is a balance that's over 100. Experience, which is a balance over 1,000. Master, a balance over 5,000. Pro, a balance over 15,000. And guru, a balance over 50,000. And as you grow this account, you get more perks. One of the biggest perks that you get as you grow your account is the withdrawal speed. If I have a $50,000 account and I want to make a $20,000 withdrawal, they're going to treat that quicker than they would treat somebody that just wants to make a $150 withdrawal. Why? 
because it's like it's like a status level. Think of it as like a NFT level. Like the higher your account, the higher your NFT, which makes it more rare, which means that you get more priority or you get more value out of what you're doing. So as you're growing this account, there's a lot of things and a lot of perks that you can get. Watch this. When you get up to experience, when everybody else is making 80 percent, when all the charts are at 80 percent payouts only, you'll get 82 percent because you're experienced. See, if you're a master, when everybody else is getting 82 percent if they or, or just 80 percent, you're getting 84 percent. And when you're on pro, you're getting 86 percent and guru, you're getting 88 percent. So just imagine. Watch this. When when everybody is getting. 84% or maybe it's 86%, you getting an extra 6% on top of that. That can add up, especially if you're doing $1,000 trades, your account can manage that, or you're doing $500 trades or $300 trades, like that can add up. Another thing right here is the gifts that you get and if you the, the max trade amounts that you can do. So on a $1,000 account, your max trade amount is 1000 Right. Look, it's a thousand right here. It's a thousand until you pass master. Then it's two thousand. Then pro is three thousand. And then guru is five thousand. Right. With a guru account, you can make five thousand dollar trades. But they also give you perks as well. I believe you see right here when you hit master, you get refunds for trades with a one point difference with an amount up to 10. So if I'm trading ten dollar trades, right, and I lose by one point then I can get my $10 back. Or let's say that I trade a $500 trade and I lose by one point. I don't want to lie to you. I believe you can get $10 of that back. I would have to check that in the terms and conditions. I, I rarely use this. I've had it hit once. I've had it hit once, but I just wanted to see if it was real. So I was doing $10 trades and it actually did refund my money back. But I'm not sure if you do uh, an amount over like 10, but they give you $10 back off of that trade. I'm not sure. But you see how look refunds for a difference over 50 refunds like one point for uh, up to 100 right here. So uh, and you can go through this. You can just click your your tag and then it'll show you the levels. You can look through it and see. Now, I do know that with the guru, one thing that I noticed, they said that you get extra um, indicators. You get extra indicators when you hit the guru balance. I'm not sure if that's just for MetaTrader 5 or if that's for high frequency because I have hit the guru um, level. Before, when I hit my five hundred to uh, fifty thousand uh, dollar challenge, and I didn't see any extra indicators. I don't know if I didn't wait long enough before I made a withdrawal, but I was so happy, boy! I, I made that withdrawal so fast. <laughs> that was <laughs> I pulled everything. I was like, oh yeah, this is mine. Give me my money, right? So uh, I, I'm not sure if that's for it, but when we hit it again, we'll see. I'll check that. But this is the different levels that you actually can achieve on this broker. Let's go back to the trading screen and let's go to I'm going to go to the demo just to set it up. Whatever you set up on your demo will be on your live account. And also, if you've made it this far in the video, go ahead and drop a like. Like I see you being committed. If you're just getting some refreshers about the um, the broker, if you're just hanging around trying to figure out, um, you know, like if this is for you and you're just kind of checking it out and, and seeing what's up then still just hit the like button. I really appreciate you guys for sticking around, helping my channel out with the longevity of how long you're watching this video. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to change these candlestick colors. I've already changed to Hakanashi candles. If you watch any of my other videos, we know that the Hakanashi candle paints direction and momentum. It does not paint price, right? It's like a moving average candle condo. So I want to enable my timer. Boom. See that right there? Let me take it away so you can see it pop away. Look, no time. Time. That's really good with timing. That's why I like to have that on there. And I want to, let's see, custom colors, my uptrend color. Do we want to make, uh, everybody does like blue, teal, green, blah, blah, blah. What color do I want? Up for red is just weird. We're gonna do yellow. And my downtrend color can be blue. Look at that. I like that. Shadow style, we wanna make that thick. And we wanna hit apply. All right, already appeasing to me. Now, uh, enable grid snap, I'll leave that clicked for now. If it gets annoying, then I'll, uh, yeah, I'll take it off. But let's see. Now we're gonna go to our indicators. 
And the first indicator that I want to add are my moving averages. I have three on my strategy. One, two, three. Okay. Now we're going to go down and we're going to make the first one a eight moving average. And we want it to be exponential. We want it to stay green. I also want it to stay that thickness. Boom. That's good to go. We're going to go down to our next moving average. I want it to be 21. I want it to be exponential and I want it to be white and I want it to be three. That's my main line that I pay attention to. So that's why it's three most important line on my chart. Then I want to go here and I want to change this last one to 200. I want it to be exponential. I want it to be pink and I want it to stay that line thickness. Nice. Okay. Then I want to go here to my indicators again. And I want to add my Williams R percentage. All right. When I click into that inputs 14, that's correct. Style my main line. I like my main line to be white. And two, this right here is good to go. I like the top to be my down color and the bottom to be my up color. So my down color is blue. So that's the top. We're going to make the line thickness five so we can see it. We're going to leave the opacity alone. Well, actually, let's turn the opacity up a little bit. Put it near the four pixel. And then I want the bottom to be my up color, which is yellow. And then four, five pixel. Boom. Look at that, save. All right, we got that set up. And then I want to add my last indicator, which is my ADX, all right? We're gonna go nine, 14, like that. Style, we're just gonna take those two lines away. White, two, save. Look at that. And, oh wait, I have one more, one more indicator, I almost forgot. Where are my Bollinger Bands? I need them bad boys. Come here, 20 and two. We're gonna take, we're gonna leave the top on, take the middle away, leave the bottom, take the background. We're gonna make both of these gray, just like that. And then actually we're gonna make the opacity go down just a little bit to like three. We don't want them to be too prominent on our chart save boom <sighs> the strategy is now set up so if you want to be able to use this strategy which is a variant of the confluence strategy then there will be a link in the bio that's going to have a link to my new course <clears throat> this course is going to be called master the skill 2.0 um and it's going to have a practical way that you can trade uh, it's going to break down a lot of things i can actually let me actually uh, go, so let, me, let me show you something real quick. Let's go to Telegram. All right, go here, hit this link. All right, Master the Skill 2.0, Unlock the Profits on Pocket Options. This is what I'm offering you right here. Learn step-by-step -step process in the following areas. The Hakanashi Candles, Bollinger Bands, 821, 200 EMA, ADX, the uh, Master the Williams R Percentage how to look at market scenarios, how to find divergence, how to take advantage of the squeeze, um, supply and demand zones and rules with Hakanashi, popular reversal patterns, market context with indicators, the entry with context. I can just keep reading this. I'm pretty sure you can read. You can read it for yourself. But I promise you, look, $45 unlocks the course. The information I'm giving on this course, I can easily sell it to you for 1000 100%. The effort that I'm putting into this course, easily $1,000 a pop because of the money that you can make off of it. If you take the information and stay disciplined with the information, I promise you can make money because this is exactly what I do to trade. Okay. Like you can make money with this. And I'm giving it away for $45 because my goal is to impact 1 million families. And I just don't want 1 million families knowing how to trade. I want 1 million families being profitable. And for me to have that type of impact, I need to gain trust. And how else do you gain trust and teach people at the same time? You show that you're winning, which I am, and then you give it away for a price where they like, there's no way it can be this cheap. Then they buy it and they see the information in it. And then they start to feel a little bit bad. They're like, man, this dude then gave away this much gems, right? This much content for only $45. Like I, I have to, I have to get results. It's a method to my madness. I know how the, the brain psyche works, especially for somebody who thinks in a grateful way. Now, of course, some people are going to take the 45. They're going to learn the skill. Then they're going to go off and try to 
you know, say, hey, this is my strategy. I don't even care about that because at the end of the day, I created that success too, right? So um, I'm giving it away for 45. Now you see, I have a hundred dollar option right here, right? This hundred dollar option, the extra $55 that you would pay would actually go to my YouTube fund. It will allow me to post, continue to post free content, continue to do giveaways, continue to just offer the type of support and, and education that I've offered so far. And it just would build my YouTube fund to upgrade computers, screens, travel to locations and do free events. Like for instance, I'm traveling all the way to Australia. I'm charging I'm not charging anything. I'm going out there and I'm just dropping sauce on anybody who wants to get the sauce. Like that's what I'm doing. Right. So um, that's what that allows me to do. So if you guys want to support the channel, get the hundred dollar option. If you just want to get your trading right, get the forty five dollar option. Either way, I promise you, you will not be let down. I put my stamp of approval on that. Master the skills 2.0. Let's get it unlock the profits okay but this is how you set up the strategy so you can go ahead and set up the strategy you can look at some of my past videos and gems and some of my videos you'll be able to actually start practicing and marking zones until the course comes out which is going to be dropping on december 1st okay so i really appreciate you guys for just you know checking out this video walking through the pocket options broker with me getting an honest opinion and an honest walkthrough of it nothing slight nothing just out of the ordinary. If you want to know more about it, I do have another video that goes through it. It's called uh, on my channel. It's called uh, everything you need to know about the pocket options broker. It's about an hour video as well. And it just walks through everything. Like I actually click all of these things and show you what they do. Like, hey, this is what it is. This is how you put an order in. I go a little bit more into depth about the buttons uh, and things like that. Um, and yeah. I'm just excited. This this journey that I'm going to do. And the crazy part is, is I'm going to record my sessions. I'm going to record my sessions and just post them on YouTube and, and let people learn from, you know, me trading. I'm not going to really explain too much. I'm just going to let them know that this is a trading vlog from my 300 to, um, to well, I'm going to just say my first goal is to get to 5K. So 300 to 5K is my first goal. And then from 5K, we'll go from there. But I just want to show that journey and show people like this is how trading is. There's no such thing as 100% win rate. There's no such thing as a perfect strategy. What, what can be real is you having perfect discipline, right? You putting yourself in a position to where you don't break your trading rules and you have your trading rules. You know your trading rules. So you're not trading with emotions and you're only trading with the setup, right? So that's what I want to help you guys develop. That's what I want to show. So I'm excited to show this journey and to just, you know, be that one person on YouTube that people be like, man, look, I don't know what everybody else is doing, but that guy right there, he's doing it, right? It's all about respect. So I really appreciate you guys for spending time with me. I hope you got value out of this video. Um, and, and thank you for supporting the channel, hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe button. If you want to get your pocket options broker started with me, if you want to be able to help my channel out and help me build a residual income from helping you be successful on the broker, it's a link in the description below that's going to take you to the pocket options broker. And if you set up your account through that link, pretty much filling out the registration and making an account, it will be connected to me. That benefits me because when you trade in your region, it goes to data for that region. So I'll be able to look on my affiliate link and I'll be able to see what you're like, not what you're actually doing on your account, but I'll be able to see as a whole in that area, what's profitable, who's profitable, who's not. And, um, you know, I'll be able to uh, attack my videos in a different perspective or put different tags on my videos to hit certain locations so they can find information to help them be more profitable. So that does help me. And if you trade successfully in trading with my strategy, trading successfully, it can actually help me, you know, earn a little bit of money as you build that account, too, which I want you to get that account as high as you can, because the, the bigger the trades you make and the more trades you clear, the more money that I make. And I appreciate that because it just helps me out, helps my family out and, uh, you know, me getting to the next step of, of hitting my goals too. So thank you for that. If you decide to use my affiliate link in the description below. Other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. You guys have a great to whatever day it is that you're watching this and I will catch you on the next video. Peace. Uh -huh.